While traditionally thought of as a provider for outdoor fencing and decking needs, the Trex company also works extensively in the recycling industry by hosting a variety of large and small scale soft plastic recycling initiatives. By working with schools and universities nationwide, Trex recycling programs provide a mutually beneficial relationship where participating communities can receive a high quality plastic composite bench while providing Trex with the material needed to continue their mission of creating environmentally responsible outdoor equipment. Usually, the thin, non-durable plastic used for items like shopping bags and package stuffing would just be thrown away and immediately sent to a landfill. But through the Trex recycling program, this plastic waste is given a new life in a way that benefits all parties involved. Here are some excerpts of a conversation with Nancy Propes, one of the administrative coordinators for the University of Richmond and catalyst for the implementation of the Trex recycling program on the University of Richmond's campus. How did you find out about Trex and bring it to the University of Richmond? Um, last year I was reading, I guess sometime during the last summer, um, I happened to stumble into a sustainability like newsletter or something, I'm not even sure where, and there was a little tiny blurb about Radford University um, and about they were doing this project with Trex. And so I clicked on their link and went and read what they were doing, um, and that gave me the idea. And so from there, um, I thought about it and was thinking and tying it into the Eco Corridor about bringing the bench and um, thinking a way to get staff involved on campus especially. How many bags did we need to recycle to get a bench and how many have we recycled so far? Pounds in order to get the bench. Um, we ended up knocking that out of the park um, by like December and we started it in November. Um, so we were on track that we would have hit, if we'd stayed on campus, we would have hit over 2,000 pounds um, by the end of the school year last year. Um, as it was, we were, we were around um, 1,500, a little bit more than that, um, in March when we went um, online. So we've seen the Trex boxes around campus. Where do they go from there? With the way the program works is you have to dr you drop it off at like grocery stores and then it gets bailed there or it gets bought from there and then it gets bailed and, and Trex gets it. So what's your biggest takeaway from starting this new sustainability initiative? I guess the thing that I would like to come out of this is that for other people to see that like if you have an idea, run with it, like think about it, bring it up to somebody else's, you know, to someone and then see if there's a way that it can be incorporated. Like it can just take one person or one's idea to make that change. Recently on the University of Richmond campus, sustainability has gained steam as a priority for the students and staff alike. Reusable bags at the dining center, composting trial runs, and the campus-wide switch to renewable energy present a trend towards sustainable living and a renaissance of care for the planet we live on. One of the biggest hallmarks of the university's commitment to the environment is portrayed through the newly restored Gambles Mill Eco Corridor. Championed by Director of Sustainability Rob Andrzejewski in collaboration with the City of Richmond and environmental engineering firm Res, the Gambles Mill Eco Corridor Restoration Project focused on stream restoration, stormwater management, invasive species management, and recreation and community connectivity. The project exemplifies sustainability in action on our campus as we work to improve environmental conditions and enhance native habitat, while also promoting human well-being through recreation and connection with nature at the same time. By using charismatic and efficient techniques like hiring goats to devour widespread invasive plant species, this stream restoration project has opened new doors for increased human interactivity with nature and allowed for the reintroduction of vital native species to the university's campus. The Gambles Mill Eco Corridor includes a variety of unique spaces intended to encourage people to spend more time outside from two outdoor classrooms to a community garden where students, faculty, and staff can cultivate their own flowers, herbs, and vegetables. These spaces allow the campus community to get out and appreciate nature. 
the Eco Corridor also provides a great site for research. Biology and environmental studies classes sometimes perform labs in the Eco Corridor, and student led research projects are also being conducted. Throughout the fall of 2020, students have begun research on frog and pollinator habitat within the Eco Corridor, as well as student use of the space. Thanks to the hard work of Nancy, Rob, and the students of the University of Richmond, a Trex recycled soft plastic bench can now be found along the path of the recently restored Gambles Mill Eco Corridor for the seating pleasure of all who pass through. Remember to stay sustainable and enjoy nature at every chance you get.